Hi everybody. Well, you know when you go on a cruise and they have the art auctions. Most of the cruise lines out there have art auctions or art for sale on the ships. All kinds of things from statues to paintings to pictures, you name it. There's all kinds of things you can buy. Some for like $50, others in the price range of $10,000 or higher. There's all kinds of art on cruise ships. Well, I never thought of doing this. I never thought of just walking in and taking it and going home and not paying for it. But apparently one couple thought this was a good idea. So I've been reading this uh, articles lately of this couple that uh, was on a carnival cruise ship and the uh, FBI has launched an investigation. In fact, they've charged them and indicted them um, for art theft on a cruise ship. And I'm going, well, how the heck did this happen, right? How in the heck did somebody steal something? And what they stole were statues about this big two of them, one of them valued around 6,200, the other valued around 6,600, which is about $13,000 worth of these two statues. And they are very pretty statues, don't get me wrong, but apparently somebody on the cruise ship after it docked noticed, hey, what happened to our two statues? That kind of blows my mind. How do you not check your art? every night, if you have art out on display, you know, and you're walking by and suddenly there's a big empty stand there or, or a big empty picture frame, you, wouldn't you notice it's like, hey, something's gone wrong, something's missing here? Uh, because the art that gets sold just gets a sticker on it saying sold. They don't move it until the passengers are getting off or they're shipping it and they replace it with another photo or statue right away. So yeah, no, uh, I, I, I kind of blew my mind, but what apparently happened, they reported it and they launched an investigation and uh, the FBI got involved uh, because it's over a certain amount. And uh, what they did was they checked for the monitors. Uh, you know, obviously they have the cameras on the cruise ships and they noticed that a couple went in around 2 a.m. in the morning, the day before disembarkation, and they walked out with what appeared to be, and they're just saying appeared to be, the two statues that were stolen, the two artworks that were stolen. Now, many cruise ship cameras, uh, you know, if you're off in a distance, it can be very, a little bit more fuzzy. They're not, you know, they don't zoom in and that, that kind of thing. Um, like they do in the movies, it's not a satellite. <laughs> so the FBI started checking who these passengers were with facial recognition, found out who they were, and then they started perusing the social media pages of these people and noticed in one post that the person was wearing the exact same shirt, tie, and pants that he was wearing on the cruise ship in the what appeared to be the photo of them walking out with the statues. Well, apparently that was enough for a judge to say, yep, you can get a search warrant. And sure enough, they issued the search warrant, searched the home and found the two statues. So not only did you, now this is all alleged, right? Maybe it was a, calculation error, they actually did pay for it and just went in and picked it up and walked out. But at 2 a.m. in the morning, nobody's working in the art gallery area. Nobody's there to take your money. No one's there to hand you. So I, that seems like a stretch, but it's a possibility. Who knows? But, but no, uh, it just goes to show you, maybe, maybe if you steal something from a cruise ship, uh, you shouldn't be posting in the same clothes that you wore while you stole it. <laughs>
<laughs> not, not a good idea. And so the alleged stealing, the FBI has indicted them and charged them. And uh, they could spend a few years in jail after this, not just a fine by any means, um, especially now that it's not just the local police force involved, it's, it's the FBI. And I, I, but I'm still kind of flabbergasted that somebody would be able to walk into the art area on a cruise ship and just walk away with the statues and nobody noticed. No red flags went up until the people got off the ship. That's kind of crazy to me, that's, that's kind of nuts. But uh, yeah, stealing over about $13,000 worth of art, shoving it in your suitcase and then keeping it in your home when you get there. Oh, look what we got, this is beautiful. Look at us, we're expensive art collectors <laughs> who are probably going to jail.